What's up everyone, I'm Chirag and welcome to part 39 of the tutorial series on Amazon API Gateway Tutorial. So in this tutorial, we will go through how to whitelist traffic from specific IP and deny the request coming from other IP addresses. So here we will be using resource policy to whitelist IPs and with this method, in a way, we will be able to secure our API endpoints. So here we will start with the creation of the Lambda function which will act as the backend integration of the particular resource or the method that we are going to create which would be followed by the creation of the REST API from scratch and then finally we are going to create the resource and the respective method under that resource and finally we will integrate our Lambda function with that particular method. So uh, once that configuration is done, we are going to test the API that uh, if we are able to successfully invoke that API endpoint or not. And then as a next step, uh, we are going to restrict the API invocation to specific IP address using the resource policy. So let's get started and create our Lambda function. So navigate to Lambda Management Console. Now once you are within Lambda Management Console, click on functions from the left panel and say create function from the top right corner, give the function name. I would simply say request service and I'm going to select runtime as python 3.9 and then I'm going to leave the rest of the option as it is and finally click on create function. Now here we have successfully created the lambda function. So now as a part of this lambda function I am simply going to replace hello from lambda with uh, the custom message. So I will simply say successful invocation and I'm going to save it and I'm going to say deploy. So this is our uh, backend integration for the specific uh, endpoint that we are going to create. Now once the Lambda function is created, uh, let's navigate to API Management Console. Now here as you can see on my screen, I have multiple REST API already created, but for the purpose of this tutorial, let's create the REST API from scratch. So click on Create API from the top right corner. For REST API, select the third option and click on Build. As a part of the protocol, we are going to select REST and as a part of the create new API, we are going to select new API and enter the API name. So I will simply say request API and then click on create API. Now here we have successfully created the REST API which is named as request API. Now as a next step, we are going to create the resource under this uh, request API. So click on resource from the left panel and then click on actions, say create resource give the resource name or the path name. So here I'm going to simply say process request. Okay, and then click on create resource. Now under this process uh, request, I want to create the get method. So select that resource, click on action and say create method. And from the drop down, select the get method and click on this tick mark. Now, as soon as you click on that uh, tick mark, it will ask you to integrate the backend. So here in our case, the integration type is Lambda function. So I'm going to select that and then I'm going to use the Lambda proxy integration. So check this box if you want to use that. And finally, we need to enter the Lambda function name. So in my case, it's request service. So select that and click on save and click on OK. Now here we have successfully created the resource followed by the uh, respective get method. Now we are good to test this API endpoint, but before that we need to deploy this. Right, so to deploy this API endpoint, click on actions, say deploy API and select the deployment stage. So here I don't have any deployment stage, so I'm going to select new stage. Give the stage name, I will simply say version one and then say deploy. Now here as you can see on my screen, we have the invocation URL, so I'm going to copy this and open a new tab in the browser, paste it over here and then I'm going to enter slash followed by the resource that I want to access. So in my case, it's process request and I will say enter. So as you can see on my screen, the invocation is successful and we have the uh, return statement that is successful invocation from the Lambda function. So now uh, at this point of time, anyone who has this invocation URL should or will be able to access or invoke this API endpoint successfully, right? Because we don't have any restriction and this API endpoint is open to public. Now, as a next step, we want to restrict the API invocation to specific IP address. And in my case, I want this API to only serve the traffic that is coming from my IP address. So now let's go ahead and define the resource policy. Let's navigate to API Gateway and click on resource policy from the left panel. Now here uh, to understand more about the resource policy, you can go through this description. 
the purpose of this tutorial is to whitelist the particular IP so for that you can either use the example right so click on IP range denial list to generate the resource policy for you and then you need to configure the placeholder or else I have already posted the relevant resource policy to the gist and the link is in the video description so I'm going to copy this and paste it over here now here as a part of this resource policy we have defined two statements so the first statement is the allow statement so here the allow statement states that allow what we want to allow that is the invocation of api that is defined as a part of the action right and for which resources we want to allow the invocation so that is to all the resources in this rest api and then to whom we want to allow that is to all the users since we have defined a wildcard in the principal block so this is our first statement and then here we have the second statement that is the deny statement now the deny statement states that deny what we want to deny that is the invocation of api that is defined as a part of the uh, action block for which resources we want to deny so we are saying that uh, we want to deny for all the resources in this rest api and to whom we want to deny that is we want to deny to all the users but there is a condition now what is that condition so the condition is that deny invocation to everyone except for the invocation request that are coming from the IP address that we are going to define as a part of this block. So here we are saying that uh, deny or block the invocation from everyone except for the IP addresses which are the part of this block that we are going to define. Okay. So this might sound a little confusing at first. Uh, so please uh, pause the video here and take your time to go through it again. Right. So guys, uh, this is our resource policy and here I'm going to define the IP address. So I will simply say allow the invocation from this IP address, right? And then I'm going to click on save. But guys, apart from this, if you are aware of the evaluation logic of policy, then there is an implicit denial in policy, which can be overridden by adding allow statements. But if we want to avoid unintended accidental access, then we have to add the explicit deny statement. So this is our explicit denial that is defined over here. Right? And explicit denial is something that cannot be overridden. So it's recommended that while you add the allow statements in the policy, you also add deny statements into that policy to prevent any unintended access. So here uh, we have successfully defined the resource policy. Now in order to reflect these changes, we need to redeploy this API. So click on resources and click on action, say deploy API. Select the deployment stage that is version one in my case and click on deploy. So guys at the moment as a part of the resource policy we are saying that only serve the request that is coming from this IP address. So obviously when I will go ahead and invoke this API endpoint my IP address is not going to be this one right. So it should deny right. It should not allow me to invoke that API endpoint successfully. So let's have a look at the invocation. So here as you can see on my screen I have this API endpoint in the browser. So I'm going to reload this. So as you can see, it says user anonymous is not authorized to perform execute API invoke on resource blah 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 with an explicit deny, right? So it is basically not allowing me to invoke that API endpoint successfully. It's because of the resource policy that we have defined. So now as a next step, let me go ahead and enter my public IP address and then we will come back over here to re-invoke this API endpoint. So to fetch the public IP address, you can simply go to Google and type in what's my IP or you can also open a new tab and type in ipinfo.io. So here is my public IP address. So I'm going to copy this and go back to the API gateway, click on resource policy from the left panel. And then I'm going to replace this 0.0.0, .0 with my public IP address. So here you can also define multiple IP address as a part of the list. And you can also add in the CIDR block if you want to allow or whitelist the range of the IP address. Right. And once you update your IP address or update this resource policy, click on save and don't forget to redeploy this API in order to uh, reflect the changes that you have made as a part of the resource policy. So click on resources, click on actions, say deploy API, select the deployment stage, say deploy again. Now sometimes uh, it might take some time in order to reflect the changes. So let's go back to our invocation tab and let me reload this. 
so it is still not reflected so now as you can see i am successfully able to invoke this api endpoint with the successful invocation message that is coming from the lambda function and it's because i have whitelisted my ip as a part of the resource policy and if i try to or if anyone try to access or invoke this api endpoint from different ip address then they will receive the exception that is the user is not authorized or anonymous user is not authorized to perform the invocation or invoke operation right so, so guys this is how you can secure the api endpoints and this is how you can uh, narrow down the permission and restrict uh, the access to specific ip addresses for the api invocation using the resource policy so guys uh, that's all i wanted to cover as a part of this video until that time if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service then please leave them below and i will try my best to come up with a tutorial as soon as possible and if you have any queries or comments then again please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time